Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. If we haven't met before, I'm a graphic designer who is totally and completely obsessed with making printables. So when I make printables in Photoshop, I like to experiment with different colors, use a whole um, different range of them, and one of my favorite resources is Design Seeds. So if you go on here, they have all these really nice color schemes that are like a colors extracted from an image, which you can then use to make color schemes for your products, your printables, or anything that you want to make. I do recommend following them on Instagram, like how pretty is that color scheme, such gorgeous colors. So if you want to color match in Photoshop, which is what I'm going to show you how to do in this video, you first need to find a photo that you want to extract a color from. So by color match, I mean like you want to use this shade of blue, for example. So what you need to do is find a photo that has a pretty color that you want to use and then save it to your computer. So if we take this one, for example, you would go right click, save as, and then make sure you save it as an image. Then open up Photoshop and you'll want to drag in the photo that you've saved. So navigate to where you have that saved on your computer. So this is one that I downloaded from their website, which has really pretty um, shades of blue. Absolutely love these two. That would be so nice for like an ombre pattern or um, all different colors. They're so pretty. Um, all different shades of blue. So I really like them for um, color schemes that have all the same shade of one color and then also a couple of different shades of the same color like that one there. It gives you some ideas that you probably wouldn't have um, come up with yourself like that purple as well. Um, so anyway, highly recommend it. So let's get into the color matching part of this tutorial. So navigate to where you've got the photo saved on your computer, left click and drag to drop it into Photoshop and then it will load. Now all you need to do is click on this button here. So if you right click and go to eyedropper and then if you left click, it'll automatically find that color for you. So if you click down here, you can then see what the color code is. So for this one, it's RGB 74183188. So you can either like jot this down if you have um, a notebook where you're keeping track of all your favorite colors. Um, you can also jot down the six digit hex code if you prefer. You don't really need both of them. You can just use one or the other. Um, hex code is really only for like web design. Typically you would use RGB and if you're using something like Paint or like Microsoft Word, they only have RGB anyway. So I recommend just copying down the RGB. Um, the other thing that you can do is add it to your swatches library in Photoshop. So if you click this button here and go add to swatches, you can call it whatever you want and then hit OK. So if you want to use that shade of blue later on, to save um, having to navigate to where you've got that photo saved on your computer and then bring it into Photoshop and color matching it again, you can just go to the swatches menu in Photoshop. So if you go to swatches and these are all the colors that you have saved, um, they'll all be saved in here. The other thing that you can do is load in some of Photoshop's um, color swatches. Totally um, recommend these. Really love the Toyo 94 color finder and also the um, Pantone series. They've got some really nice colors in here. So you can also um, use that to come up with some colors. They have some nice different shades of the same color, like all different teals, um, etc. So if you scroll down to the bottom, this will be the color that you just added down here. So if you're making a printable or a label or anything later on, you can just navigate to your swatches menu, click down here, and it will find that shade of blue for you. So if you don't believe me, let's switch this around and you can click there and it will automatically find that color for you. So it really speeds up your workflow, makes it much easier, and then you can quickly color match and be consistent with the colors that you're using. You don't have to try and um, estimate what shade of blue it was because there are literally like hundreds of different shades of blue um, around. So you want to do keep track of um, if you find like a really pretty blue or any color scheme, you do want to save it to that swatches menu or jot down the RGB code in a notebook or Word doc or something like that. So that is how you um, color match. So design seeds do give you these nice swatches already extracted, but if you had an image like this one, you could click anywhere on the image and it will extract a pretty blue for you. So we've got a nice dark blue. You can see the color down the bottom here. You could have like a whitish gray for the sand, a really pretty aqua. Um, so you can just click the eyedropper tool and it will find that color for you. So this one is like a bit of a darker shade and you can also just play around with the color picker as well if you wanted to, if you found one that was close but not quite what you wanted. That's it. That's how you color match in Photoshop. So I hope you found this video helpful. I've done uh, quite a few other Photoshop tutorials if you're just getting started with Photoshop, um, including some of the ways to use the color tools. I did do a brief overview in this video, but there are some more ways that you can use them. I also did things on how to use the shape tool, text, clipping mask, all that kind of stuff. And then I also have some tutorials on how to make like party printables, like a party banner, 
how to make your own printables, how to make labels, etc. So if you want to go check out some of those tutorials, I'll include links below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I have tons of planner related um, videos and then also Photoshop tutorials as well. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to know when new tutorials are added, which is usually weekly. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.